Yeah. Come on, let's move on to our next quiz. We've got three more to share with you, and some of you might be waiting to see all of them before you start making up your mind. This next one is a classic British line. It's P&O on the new Britannia. Absolutely. Ship's still being built. Very, very exciting. We're going to be there at the, uh, at the launch in a couple of months' time Why on not? behalf of Planet Cruise, so we'll get some great footage for you and show you. But this is going to be an incredible ship. It's going to be the largest uh, purpose-built cruise ship for the British market. Uh, P&O have been around for 175 years. They know what they're doing. In fact, the whole of the interior of the ship is being designed by Richmond, who have done a lot of the iconic hotels really? like the Mandarin Oriental in London. Um, and it's going to be absolutely stunning. It's going to have a TV studio on board, so you can go and see live game shows and a live TV show and be a live audience. Wow. Um, you're going to have this beautiful interior where literally walking around every corner, you're going to have these crystal chandeliers and huge open spaces uh, with these wonderful pieces that have been designed specially. Um, you've got the crystal room on board dedicated to all types of dance. As always with P&O, loads of great food heroes, they're calling them, uh, from uh, the UK food industry like Marco Pierre White, yeah. going to have their restaurants on board. Um, even people uh, like Eric Lanlard is going to have his own patisserie on there. Ollie. And Ollie Smith there for the wine. It's going to be a great opportunity uh, for you to try the best in British cuisine and of course the Asian spices coming there from Atoll Culture. Yeah. Um, big, big names and they're all part of what P&O are going to be offering you. Great chance as well for a fantastic huge spa, debt retreat, adult only area, four huge swimming pools, uh, the Limelight Club for great comedy and a huge big up theatre with a huge LED screen so the shows are going to be first rate. It's going to be a magical, magical experience uh, and again it's coming out in a couple of months later this year. Um, Wow, is what we're going to say. So that's I, what I, I think it's worth, wow. to, to anyone that's never <laughs> been on a cruise, you know, it's really worth, worth bearing in mind that the cruise ships today are part of the destination themselves. Mm. Don't just think of it as a hotel at sea. It's way more than that. I remember when the Queen Mary 2 came out, she had a planetarium on board. No one had ever, ever done that. And since then, people have just been pushing the boundaries. And cruise ships are absolutely amazing today. Come mm. on, let's talk about the itinerary of the Britannic, because it's, it's a maiden trip. To, uh, to Norway and the yeah, fjords. Yeah, it is. And of course, if you're going to go to Norway, if you want to see the fjords, there is no finer way than doing it than by a cruise ship. It really is. It's your chance to get into the nooks and crannies, to sail down these magical, magical water-filled areas. And you know what? There is no image. There's nothing I can say. There's nothing you can say, Paul. There's nothing anyone can say. No photos that your friends can show you that will compare to actually doing it in person. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be, I, I've spent, I'm sure, same as you, two or three months sailing around this part of the world. There is always something to see. You won't want to go to sleep. You won't ever want to be off the deck. In fact, that's why it's a good idea always to get a balcony or at least a room with a view so that you can always see the fjord that you're sailing through and you're going to see little tiny villages on the side there that they're almost like model villages because the size of these huge waterfalls crashing into the water so much wildlife with the whales and the seabirds there's always something to see um, and, and literally at every single moment you could catch a memory that will last forever loads of great tours where you're going out in these high powered skips uh, skips is, is the word there and of course these cities that you're going to get a chance to go and see these small towns all have chances to go out and see amazing things like the pulpit rock the Kajag Boulder, uh, which are great photo opportunities and moments you'll remember for the rest of your life. If you, if you fancied getting somewhere like Alaska and you think, I'll never be able to afford that because it's so far away, then consider the fjords. It's like the, it's like the Alaska of Europe. It really is. So Southampton, relaxing day at sea, get familiar with that brand new ship, so much to see and do. You're then hitting Bergen. Uh, it's a great place there with the old Hanseatic Wolf that you can explore. Mm -hmm. Walk up Mount Floyen, uh, take the cable car up and then walk back down and enjoy the huge fish market and one of the great churches, the Fanstoff Staff Church uh, of Bergen and of Norway. Then we're going through to Olden, uh, a great peaceful village sitting on the edge of the colossal Jostel Glacier. It's Europe's largest ice flow covering 188 miles. It's over a million years old and a great place to explore. Again, seeing all those mountains in the background for you. Then from Olden, we're going through to Flom, the little place between steep mountains. Mm -hmm. um, and this is incredible because it's got one of the world's steepest railways yeah. that hugs, you know, that literally hugs the mountains and goes through these cliff edge tunnels and sharp bends. You can adventure into the white caves of Goodvangen or you can go and see the goats of Unradel. Uh, trust me, it's fun. Then you can go through to Stavanger. Stavanger is a great chance to get all your Norwegian uh, souvenirs or your, your woolly jumpers and your little trolls. It's also a great chance to see the 11 <laughs> kilometers of jar beaches to go out here to what's yeah. called the Trolls Tongue and get that photo and sail down the Lewis Fjord as it's called. Maybe to head out and see the artists hard at work in their studios and that's Pulpit Pick. Pulpit Pick? Pulpit Rock. Ah, that's where I'm going to be taking my dad in a couple of months time. He's a preacher so he'll love the Pulpit Rock. Uh, and again one of the world's oldest, one of Norway's, Norway's, Norway's oldest church, the Dormkirk, 
uh, which again is in Stavanger. It's an incredible, I can only give you a flavour, I never feel like I'm doing it justice, but um, trust me, the best way to see Norway is from a deck of a ship and do it on Britannia, it will be a, something you'll remember forever. And of course it is very, very affordable, from £619, it's yeah. a great, great deal. Now if you actually book before the 31st of January, then you can double your onboard spend. That means we're giving you money to spend on board for free as an inclusive, but we'll double it if you book that. So maybe call the team and get your hands on that one tonight. You can sail on the 25th of April, be the first on the Britannia's maiden voyages to the fjords. Deposit only, so £50. So imagine that. £50 you could put down tonight. It's a brilliant opportunity for you. And by maiden voyage, we mean it's the first time that the Britannia is going out to the fjords. And that means it'll be such a great party atmosphere on board. It was so special as yeah. it leaves Southampton. You know, they've got a music playing, everyone waving, the Union Jacks waving in the air. This will be a classic British experience, something you won't want to miss. And one other thing you might want to do, this is what I always did when we went there, sit on the balcony with a hot chocolate, a little dabble of brandy in it. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. <laughs> From £619, you can see the prices there, you can see the dates, but of course 25th of April is your maiden voyages. You've also got the opportunity 16th of May, 18th of July and the 29th of August. Again, ID number is important because that will get you straight through to this yeah. particular trip. 777. One, two. And I think those July and August dates are in the school holidays as well. That's right. Which, yeah. is, uh, which is fantastic. So, a great opportunity for people to. You if know. you think, oh, I can never take the kids. Yes, you can. Teachers, yes, you, you can, can go as well. We want you coming on board.